Okay. So we are having winching Thursday because that's how we're rolling this week. Um, we're, get, we're installing um, my favorite uh, flat spicer, Factor 55 flat spicer on the uh, Super Winch Talon right here. And so we've already done a couple of things preparatory wise. Uh, number one, I've tapered this rope. So what we do is we start cutting, we, we start cutting the threads down so we can get a nice narrow taper. This is not tapered. You need to work on that some more. <laughs> and then we give a little tape wrap so we can work with it a little easier. I've threaded this through my splicer. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, use my fast fit um, to splice the rope together. And so I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna go in uh, with the rope is going to insert right in here and then we're going to need to come out. We want to do at least 18 inches and so we're going to want to come out right about here on this rope. So you see I'm going to mark that with a sharpie. Um, but then this rope, because when this rope is inside of this one, this one's going to be a little fatter so that's going to make it just a little bit shorter and so we're probably going to end up going uh, we're gonna, it's gonna be a little shorter is where it's gonna come out. Um, so we wanna actually plan to go just a little further. So we might actually plan to come out another three inches or so down the, down the rope. So this is the plan. This is probably where it's actually gonna come out once this rope shortens up. All right, now we've already assembled our fast fit here. We're going to do the Chinese handcuffs thing. <laughs> Feed that right into there. Okay, bink bink, and I'll remove that tape here a little bit. And the important thing is to get right in the center of this rope. Now this is a brand new winch line, so it's it's pretty stiff. You can see it's almost got like a waxy coating on it, that blue protective coating. You get right in the middle of that, and you'll know it because once you're in the center, it that needle will just slide right on down there. So I'm gonna go right down the center of that. I'm gonna keep scrunching that up. I could have pre-scrunched it. That would have made it a little easier on the video here, but we got some realism. And where's my mark? Way down here, okay. So I got a little ways to go. Now, a lot of people wanna do um, a, a lock. And, you know, I used to spend a lot of time you know, doing a Brummel splice or something there at the beginning, or even just weaving it, doing an ass back and forth. Um, I have found that it is not even necessary. Um, of course, the official uh, Super Winch or Marlow ropes or uh, any of your good providers like Master Pole, they're going to tell you you should, you know, like put some stitches in there or something, but fine. So we're just feeding this right down the middle. Your ride's here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I see I lost my train of thought. I'm a little stuck in the center here. There we go. So we just gotta feed this right down the middle. And here's where it gets to it. This is when we start getting that other rope in here. Where's my mark? There's my marks, okay. So we're getting there, getting there slowly but surely. And the, 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 it's, it's difficult because you want to kind of pull on it. You wanna pull it through there, but then everything just tightens up. So you gotta keep it nice and scrunched Hair scrunchies. <laughs> Keep it nice and scrunched. And then you'll see what happens is after you come out at that longer mark that we made, that rope's just gonna pull right back through there. Okay, so now we just, just pull that all through there and keep it scrunched. You're gonna wanna pull it tight, but you gotta keep it scrunched. Isn't that cool looking? <laughs> okay, and so we pull that down. Got a little twist in there, so we're gonna just pull that while we got some slack. Now I'm gonna pull my fast fit off. I'm gonna pull my duct tape off. Just, you know, you're not gonna need it. That's the hard part is finding the end of the duct tape, right? Eh. I'm gonna cut my line here if I do this, but let me just nick just a little tiny bit of tape here. And I use the really cheap duct tape that actually doesn't stick really well and make a liar out of me, right? All right. <laughs> and there it is, there's my duct tape. I did my duct tape too well. 
If I wasn't videotaping, that wouldn't have stayed on there so good. Okay, there you can see my, my taper. Isn't that lovely? Okay, now, now this is the fun part. You just get to stretch this all out. And see how that end is just sucking back down in there as we stretch that out. And the more tension you put on this, it's going to just keep pulling that rope in there. Now this is also a brand new winch, brand new rope, so we have not wrapped this under tension. That's what we're going to do next. And we'll talk about that in a separate video. But we'll just keep in that, working that rope, and you see, we're almost there. So, hey, we'll show you the results later.